Hi, this is Rainy from the Journals of Awakening. Today we have a guest star. This over here is Charlie. <laughs> hey, what's up guys? It's Charlie here. <laughs> <laughs> so what kind of questions you got for me today, eh? Alright, Charlie. Yeah. So What's up, girl? What's your so, sign? <laughs> so so I hear that you've been out on the streets. For, yeah. For, for quite some time. Ever since I was a little cabron. Yeah. <laughs> Simon, nah, I say, I'm telling you, I grew up on the streets, I, I live on the streets, I, I cook egg on the street. It's so hot in East L.A. <laughs> you live in East L.A.? How's that? Simon, it's hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ask me some goddamn questions. Don't you want to know more about Charlie? <laughs> Come on, ask me some questions, man. I want to tell you guys about my life. My, my crazy life, I say. I got the three dots right here. I don't know what to do. All you got to do is interview me, man. All right. You smoke bud? Oh, do you smoke bud? Fuck yeah. Yeah? What kind of bud do you prefer? Uh, Reggie. Yeah, I like that stuff that my cousins bring. Yeah. See. Si. Where do they buy it? From the dispensary? No, the Scarface guy, but then he got busted, you know. Now I just kind of get it from whoever's behind Walmart. <laughs> this is stupid. See? <laughs> <laughs> There's always a guy at Walmart, you know, who sells <laughs> blood, you know. This is like the worst podcast ever. <laughs> Whatever, man. We're going to make so much money on this one. We're going to be rich, Holmes. Like, I haven't been a guest star, like, ever. You know? One time, I asked for directions to the best fucking YouTube channel on the planet, and I got great advice. The Journals of Awakening. See? That's what it was, right? That's what it was, yes. That's a pretty good channel. No shit, Holmes. I'm telling you. I can't see a goddamn thing, just so you know. <laughs> I have to do this. So, uh, today we're going to talk about... What do you want to talk about, Holmes? <laughs> we're going to talk about content creating. Content creating? Hey, sometimes you have to be a character, you know? Content creating is really hard to pull off. Sometimes it's a struggle. I think that people who content create are really impressive because it takes a lot of work and dedication. It's as impressive as Manoodle. I watched Charlie's cousin Ben content Ooh. create. Your cousin, Ben. Oh, that homie, he's such a puto. Go on. <laughs> and it, he will literally be on the computer trying to get things perfect and entertaining for y'all. Yes, he's just on there. YouTube. He's just there like a like a fucking nerd. He sits there all day, <laughs> for real, all day. He sits there and he makes stupid little shit up, you know, stupid little shit. It's just embarrassing, you know. It's not embarrassing. It's really impressive to watch, actually. And Ooh. I think that, like, because I'm on TikTok a lot, and I think that a lot of people TikTok is toxic. No, they mm -hmm. they dedicate so much of their lives to making good videos to share with the public. And it it can pay well if you're good enough, but I. But you you gotta be pretty, cabron. I'm not I'm not pretty. No, know? you don't. You yes. definitely yeah. You are. No, you're you have... not. You're not content creating. That's right. Your no, cousin we're is talking very about pretty. Ben, you know, we're talking about Benjamin. Benjamin, my my cousin. Yeah. See, mi primo. You definitely don't have to be attractive to be a decent content creator. Not even a little bit, Holmes. Uh, but you, but but Ben is attractive. Hey, Ben's Ben's okay, you know. Ben, he took he took my girlfriend one time, but I wasn't even mad, you know. <laughs> um, and it's, I mean, it's just hard because they say you're working for yourself, but you're really not working for yourself at all. You're working for whatever company that you choose to create content on. Yes, and for Ben, that's YouTube. He yeah. works. He works for YouTube. He's and, uh, He's a working man. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny, man? Why is that so funny? And then we make this podcast. So the podcast is also a type of content creating. We yeah. don't normally do it with video, but we're just trying things out. We're really trying yes. to get it out there. I think it's really important people check it out because our podcast is so real. 
I it's, mean, it's like real life. Yeah, and, uh, it's genuine real life. We're not just talk. We're talking about everything. We're being really transparent. Real people from East LA, you know, Chapiers. We don't live Chapiers. in California. No, East LA. No. <laughs> yeah, no, East LA. That's where my my brother's from, Cheech. <laughs> that's my brother. <laughs> it's not my primo, my peachy primo. All right, all right. Uh, uh. Why don't you go get Ben? No, I'm just gonna turn into uh, whatever this guy is. <laughs> I like it, Black Bear. Oh, yeah, Black Bear. All right. <laughs> so, I mean, I just I don't know. I didn't. We didn't really have a topic for this podcast. So I thought I'd come on as Charlie. Yeah, and. Um, I felt like that content creating is a good one to do it on. It can cause a lot of stress <laughs> because a lot of people, a lot of platforms don't really pay enough. I like Anchor. They don't pay at all. I like Anchor, <laughs> you know, a penny of you if you're getting enough views. Uh, at least we're getting, we're at like $5. Yeah, that's what I was saying. We're almost at 6 At like least we're getting something. Something, right? Like when it hits 10 bucks. We could cash out. Yeah. I mean, when it hits ten dollars, we could cash out. So it's not, and we always get at least a penny. We always get. Every we've day. been getting two views, so it's climbing it's, yeah, it's three, slowly three, and steady. Three. Yeah, and it's paying off, and that's the thing is not YouTube. Yet, they really make you. Really make you work. Yeah, YouTube. Uh, Same with TikTok. Like nut. to to get TikTok, you know, attention. You have to be a whore. Do, no, oh. no. You have to post your content like seventy times. That's like the magical word. Seventy times more than you would a, in a regular month. So in your first month, you want to post like ten videos a day oh. to get noticed. But once you're noticed, you're noticed. Really? You don't have to keep it up once really? you start the following. Yeah. Well, that's the same thing with YouTube. No, definitely. Yeah, but you with, get the it's and... just it's easier on TikTok because I can only imagine. Yeah, it's because it's only shorts and you just pop up on people's pages. But TikTok is mainly for kids. That's not true, and you're saying that with no experience. I I don't know what TikTok's about. I just know that I can't picture an adult using TikTok. I follow a lot of adults, 35 to 45 years old, a lot of moms. We're not grown-ups at that age. I'm just kidding. <laughs> who talk about the the truths about parenting, gentle parenting. You know, I uh, there's a lot of 45-year-old witches on there, and they talk... The children do those stupid dances, and I don't think that they count, you know? Okay, so it's just the kids doing the stupid dances, the bunny hops and that's stuff? That's all you see because that's what's pushed <laughs> out onto a, a fresh algorithm. That's all you see? Yeah, you're if like, this you, is TikTok? Wow, If yeah. you were to download TikTok, no, even thanks. though you don't have a phone. No, I know. It would be some funny shit? It, no, it would just start off with the shit that the algorithm wants you to see. Just a bunch of dancing, stupid dances. A guy putting on so makeup. So you would go like into the search and find things you want to look for, and then your algorithm starts developing. Okay. Uh, and every like... So the first thing everyone should type is Selena Gomez, right? I do follow her on TikTok. <laughs> and I... It's... A lot of people are selling houses on TikTok because what? of yeah, because of for real estate. Yeah, yeah oh, what? it's great for real estate. Really? That's what I'm saying. It's a business venture. Hmm. Yeah, because you you use Facebook for like chat groups and shit, and I'm like, I didn't even know Facebook had that. Yeah, so you can use it. You, as long as you're using it as a tool, it's it's okay. It's healthy. You know, you're using it. If I want to go look for, uh, if I'm on Book Talk. I'm going to get a lot of suggestions is for cool a, books to read. Is that a site? No, it's Book Talk. Is a, it's, so here's TikTok, and it's one of those branches. Oh, and TikTok? It's, yeah, people read books. It's called Book Talk? Yeah, a anything <laughs> on TikTok ends with a talk. So the you hell's go talk on, mean? It's TikTok. It's just saying that side of TikTok. So okay. which talk? It's like a know? left and a right kit Twix bar. Yeah, exactly. It's, Same shit. Uh -huh. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> so if I go on there, I get a lot of book suggestions. So that's Ew. cool, you know, that's not. <laughs> this guy. I don't book. <laughs> I can go on like photography tips. I get a lot of tips on photography because I got to bust my camera out and sometimes it can be really overwhelming and these people help walk you through a DSLR um, and that is 
I know what DSLs are. So I, <laughs> you just have to find the right <laughs> niche. And content creating is perfect for Ben because he has this niche of being a cis man. A what? A cis man. Here's a new word. What's a cis? Um, I don't. I thought really that was know. like the access. It's that grows. basically like a a straight white man. Oh, I'm offended. Yeah. I'm definitely gay. <laughs> Just saying. But he's here <laughs> spilling truths about real life stuff from his traumatized family to healing these wounds. You hear and that, Dad? It's your fault. I'm gay now. Yeah. <laughs> that's like my dad's biggest fear, just so everybody knows. That's probably everybody's dad's biggest fear. Probably. No, because that's a trauma. It's just thing. mine? Oh, yeah. okay. My dad, yeah, he's it's, a homophobe for sure. <laughs> you know, there was a family. She's convinced that he's came, gay. Yeah. There was a family that came into my store yesterday. And they had three boys. It was two men with beards. I don't know if they were together or whatever. Okay. <laughs> but they, they didn't seem like they were together. They seemed like. Those are bears no, in the gay community. They seem, no, they <laughs> seemed like their wives were together and they were watching the kids. Oh, okay. So there was two boys and then Dad one friends. boy had on a rainbow <laughs> tutu with a unicorn on it. What the fuck? Okay. No, yeah, and I was just thinking like this. In public? Yeah. This, Holy crap. <laughs> this, his dad, this new, man, new generation. was very manly. Okay. And this kid was allowed to wear whatever he wanted. The dress obviously fit him. Like it was just that's crazy. Yeah, and then they bought him a little pink purse because that's what he picked out, and I think that that's. <clears throat> I think it's wonderful. I think sexuality and children is not allowed. That has nothing to do. What does unicorns and rainbows have anything to do with sexuality? Hey man, I've had fetishes for unicorns and rainbows no. my whole life, and that's sexual. Okay. You're dumb. <laughs> yeah. The wind's going crazy outside though, guys. So I'm kind of scared for my trailer. Uh, <laughs> Ben's Ben's pretty much kidding, but. Style like that has nothing to do with anything. No, it's it's, it's inappropriate. Like I said, I have an extremely homophobic father, so yeah, I, I so grew up on what things. the fuck. I'm supposed to make this face, you know, but I don't mean it. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, you know, like just, I'm not judging you and your kids. You do what you want, you know. I'm just with Connor, his favorite color is rainbows. Yeah, that's and okay. That's okay. <laughs> it's fun. We we go all out. Like obviously, if I'm gonna pick him something out, it's gonna have to have a rainbow on Tattoo it. Tattoo idea. If I put a rainbow under my eye, would you think I was gay? No. No, right? You'd you be like, should. That have. guy's cool. Exactly. <laughs> that's what I would say. That's freaking cool, man. That's a lot of color. So off on that <laughs> rabbit hole, I just think that um, ta watching, go watch Ben's vlogs. His vlog, his his lives, With and all of his past lives. He's so honest, and he talks about his feelings. Real talk. Yeah, and he doesn't hold back, and I think uh, it's. I hold back a little, but it's literally so I don't get demonetized. I'm not monetized, but once I am, you know what I mean. Yeah. I don't want them to be like, take this down. You said something about the something. But he talks about his feelings. I talk about my feelings. He'll cry on camera, too. I will cry on camera. It was hard the first couple times, but now I'll fucking let the water work. And that's from somebody <laughs> who was raised with a don't cry unless he has something to cry about. Little and bitch, boys yeah. don't cry. You and gay boy? You a gay boy? That's my, my dad, I'm telling you guys. Yeah, I'm his dad you, said that shit to him. Yeah, dude. And, and so, I, I don't want to come off offensive. You know, and I find it hard not to sometimes because that's just how I was raised, but it's trash. And that's why it's important that you do the lives. Exactly. I want everybody to know, you know. And like, even though you have a hard time changing your mind or whatever or growing to accept all humans, it's something that you're working on because... I, I mean, do accept all humans, you know. Yeah. It's, like, I'm still a little weird if you hit on me, but, like... I get it. If I'm, a man hits on me, I'm a little weird. That has yeah, nothing to do exactly. with sexual. Thank you. Women too. I get hit on my women, and I'm like, yeah, oh, exactly. Um, it's a, it's a person. It's a boundary. Thank you. Thing. You know, <laughs> I think. Thank you. Please don't stare at my ass. So really, <laughs> you know? was it ever gay people in the first place, or was it people who didn't respect your boundaries? You know, that's I. A, that's you, a great question. Yeah, yeah. It, it's just those are the ones that you thought about because of your trauma. Yeah. But really, women that hit on you are you, make you very uncomfortable. Do you remember? Yeah, yeah. remember my last boss? Yeah, exactly. She hit on me all the time, man. I knew she wanted these nuts, and it was awkward. Nuts, yeah, it was yeah. just awkward to go to work sometimes, you know? It was like, oh, shit, I better not take off my work shirt right here. <laughs> you I, know, like, it was awkward. I never get hit on, but I used to. And it was she just... She was like 10 years older than me. Older women love me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I used to get hit on, and it was always just the worst. It's like, leave me alone. <laughs> you know? Like, I don't need to hear what you Not a hugger. Me. Yeah. 
Exactly. Got the Not a hugger. Hands tattoo off. right there. <laughs> Not that I want any random man hugging me anyway. Or woman. Or woman, yeah. I was going to say, exactly. like these days, especially, women are very, uh -huh, you know. No, <laughs> so. I'm not, I'm even talking about old ladies. That's true. Old women, man, they be touching way too much. Yeah. You know, I got them old women like, that walk by. They pick up my arm like, and they're like, oh, your tattoo. Oh, my God. Like, touch my arm. I hate the women that literally grasp your arm and they talk to you. Yeah. It's like, exactly. <laughs> should I flex? <laughs> so even though this podcast episode got way off topic. That's okay. Charlie was here. Charlie was good. Thanks for coming, Charlie. Ain't no problem. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Content creating is... He's got a name now. It's fun. It's creation. It's it a way fun. to express yourself. And it's okay to have fun with it and take your time on it. I personally... And that's my problem. I like to push out content. I want you to have such a dedicated space so I can stop being irritated with your content, you know? It's true. We uh, we are going to make a new studio area. Yeah, of... because I like to read and he likes to blast the speaker when someone's live. <laughs> I can't hear. Yeah, I know. We need headphones. And I can't think when he's doing that. So we got to buy headphones. We're yeah. going to move... Hopefully. We're going to move the stereo and everything into another room. Instead of buying headphones. <laughs> yes. Wait, <laughs> the stereo? Yeah. I'm kicking you out. Oh, <laughs> shit, guys. The whole stereo? Yeah. My amps for my guitars? Everything? Your amp could stay in the closet. Well, it's right there. Why would it go in the closet? It's on the desk. For use. Okay, maybe you don't need to move the stereo, but I. But I will need speakers in there. Exactly. That's what oh, I'm saying. No. That's what I'm saying. So I got some work ahead of me. Yeah, so I'll yeah. I'll be working today, guys. And <laughs> I'm excited because then I can sit there and paint. In my spot? Yeah. Oh hell no! <laughs> no, we're done. Shut the computer. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I almost shut it. Oops. I have that envision for you to content create. You have a whole space of your own. I like... even talked to him about moving the futon in the closet. Really? And he said he loved that idea. Do you think it would fit? I'm going to make it fit. Okay. I could cut part of that wall off. It's already fucking... That's true. That's true. You know? Trailers. And yes. <laughs> I got a saw. But basically, I mean, he's obviously still going to sleep in this room, but I can't wait to have a space but where like, I can retreat. But like five months a year. Four months a year. Yeah. Jay, we're talking about Jason. He wants to stay with, with um, his mom. So. Two and a half months. Ago. Yeah, it's not even that much. That room is vacant all the time. It's yeah. my cat's room and right now. I'm <laughs> sitting here, honestly, I'm sitting here having a really hard time because I don't have anywhere to just close everybody out and do a thing. Because she's sitting in front of her, uh, her bong cabinet. That's a bong cabinet. This is our bedroom. <laughs> uh, you guys, your computer, the computer here is sitting on our bed. Ring light way off to the side over there because there's no like. Where the am I supposed to do yoga? Where am I supposed to paint? I'm not gonna go paint on the table. Yeah, it's here to here, guys. Here to here. We're at the wall. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty so, crazy. Pretty crazy. Ben's gonna. Humble. He's. I want him to go all out on this content creating, but I need my space. So, so we're gonna make it work for everybody. So we're making a studio. Is what we're doing. Yeah, exactly. Egg cartons. Save them, bitches. I want to rap. <laughs> I want to rap, and I don't want nobody to bitch about it. And on that note, we thank you. Peace. Peace. <laughs>